What happens if you get married during a bankruptcy case? Well, the answer to that question can differ from situation to situation. It can be different in Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 bankruptcy. In Chapter 7 bankruptcy, if you get married during the short process of the Chapter 7 case, it may not have any effect on the outcome. And this is simply because the case is looking in the past, looking to relieve you of your debts and get you a discharge. So there's no substantial look into the future and what the future income situation will be, especially if a new spouse is added into the situation. Now in chapter 13, a very different outcome can be more common. In chapter 13, especially during the beginning of the case, if you get married, they're probably going to look for your new spouse to contribute towards the repayment of your debt in the chapter 13 case. So if you're in a chapter 13 and you get married, especially in the beginning of the case, there's a higher likelihood that you may have to contribute towards the repayment of some of your spouse's creditors. Now, this is not always the rule and sometimes, depending on how far you are in the case and then the totality of the circumstances, there may not be an increase that you have to put into the chapter 13 plan, but it's usually a good idea to know that if you're doing chapter 13 and you get married, there may be some changes required. Now, another important thing to bring up is that it's very good to get your bankruptcy debt relief before you enter a new marriage. And this is simply because if you've seen the different qualifications for filing bankruptcy and getting debt relief change after you get into a new situation with more combined household income.